Welcome, says Pomni as she falls to the ground, to the amazing digital circus. Say hello to your new home. Oh no, there's been a mistake. I don't live here. This is our world, says Pomni. And everything here is perfect. That sounds incredibly unlikely. To get started, we've set up a scavenger hunt for you kids. Go and find five Roblox toys hidden around the room. Good luck. So a bit of a hiccup in my afternoon, my pals. I put on my VR headset thinking I could film something fun for my YouTube channel, and then I ended up here. So like, the good news is I'm doing a scavenger hunt, which is kind of fun. The bad news is I don't seem to be able to take off the headset. It's kind of stuck to my face. Well done, says Pomni. You guys got everything. Wow, we found all five toys already. We are so fast, we are working as a team. Okay, kids, now take a seat so we can continue. Hey, everybody, this kind of bossy jester lady wants us to sit in the bean bags, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to choose a color. I do like orange. All right, guys, now you need to decide what you want to do next. I mean, to be honest, what I'd really like to do is take off this VR headset, maybe find the exit. Do you want to go play a game of soccer or do a circus adventure? I mean, Pomni, that's not really us deciding what to do next. You are only giving us two choices. My friend says, let's do a vote. I mean, if we're voting and we're at the Amazing Digital Circus, then obviously I'm choosing Circus Adventure. If you want to vote too, you can vote in the comment section. Let's see a soccer ball emoji or a circus tent emoji to cast your vote. Pomni's got the results and says, looks like you guys want to go on an adventure. I mean, yeah, sure, sort of. Let's go. Wow, I wonder what the circus adventure is going to be. Music's a bit ominous. Is that a good sign? Oh, okay. Wait, says Enibs. We have to go over the lava? Yeah, it's certainly looking that way. And it doesn't look much like a circus either. Yep, says Pomni. You guys wanted to go on an adventure. So good luck. Anyone who doesn't make it is going home. Excuse me? I thought the entire point of the Amazing Digital Circus is that you can never leave. Well, that's a bit unusual. If I could break the fourth wall for a second, I will say it doesn't really seem in keeping with the original story, but that's fine. We're in Roblox world and different rules apply. So yes, Bizarro Palmy, we have finished crossing the lava. Now what? Boss Thipwat is like, that was intense. Really? It seemed like a pretty simple obby to me, but that's fine. JKN says, I'm getting tired now. We should go back. Really? Tired after doing like four jumps over lava? You know what? I don't want to judge. You're tired. That's fine. Let's just go back to the weird circus room with Bizarro Pomni, who says, I've made some hot chocolate for you guys. So take a cup and relax. Boss the Pop says, yay, I love hot chocolate. Everybody does, and I'm sure there's no reason to be suspicious of this giant hot chocolate. Yum. Tastes like unanswered questions. Do I just drink this and wait for something bad to happen? Am I gonna, like, pass out or something? While I'm doing that, I want to know if everybody's seen The Amazing Digital Circus. So give this video a thumbs up if you've already heard of it. All right, says Pomni. It's getting late now, kids. Let me show you where you'll be sleeping tonight. I don't know if I really need sleeping quarters. Do I need to sleep in a digital world? What I really need is these VR headset off my face and okay, to the sleeping quarters. All right, everyone, says Pomni. Go and choose a bed and go to sleep. I mean, this looks fine. Oh my gosh, I've been absorbed into the bed. I am a bed person now. Part woman, part bed. Superboy's like, today was great. I can't wait for tomorrow. Nate Dog's like, yeah, me too. Look, I don't mean to quibble because we are kind of prisoners here, so I'm only gonna ask this once. Are you quite all right in the head? I would just hesitate to give today a 10 out of 10 when we are being held against our will in a digital circus realm. But I wanna bring the mood down, so great, glad you had a good day, I guess. I kind of enjoyed becoming a hybrid bed person. And I don't think the hot chocolate poisoned me. So I guess there's that. Anyway, sweet dreams, everybody. Hey, can someone turn off their phone alarm? Guys, says Diljil. What was that noise? I assumed it was someone's alarm going off so they could be first in the showers, but no, apparently not. Mantuan says, Pomni, is that you? Yeah, don't worry, it's probably just Pomni playing with some bells, although I do notice the clown spider. What do we think about that? Enib says, OMG, what is that? As previously mentioned, it's a clown spider. I'm not sure if it's a spider that's also a clown or a clown that's becoming a spider. Anyway, they're like, you guys took what's mine and now you will pay. I agree with Boss Hiplot. Run, come on everyone. There's no time to wait around to try to figure out if this is a clown spider or a spider clown. Although obviously it's an interesting question and one that I'm sure will keep me up tonight. But right now we just need to run. If I was looking for some good news, and frankly I am, I'd say that this clown spider is not the fastest of villains. That might give me some time to come up with a name. Maybe Clyder. Oh wow, they hated that. They hated it so much they disappeared and reappeared. 
at a short distance away. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with everybody who is still carrying their hot chocolates. <laughs> like, yes, we're in a life or death scenario, but stay cozy, King. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Ah, and look who it is. Pomni says, uh, guys, is everything okay? I heard a lot of noise. Don't you lie to me, bizarro Pomni. Nate Dog says, no, we were just attacked by a scary monster. I believe you'll find it's called a collider. What? Says Pomni. Wow, you kids really have wild imaginations. Those don't exist here in the digital circus. Anyways, it's 3 a.m., so go back to sleep. I have never heard such a bold-faced lie come out of the lion mouth of a lion gesture. To say the digital circus doesn't have monsters, I don't believe that for a second. Anyway, back in the weird circus room. Good morning, kids, says Pomni. Christmas is now just around the corner. Oh my gosh, it's my first speaking line. I love Christmas, says me. Pomni's like, let's decorate the tree. Turn on all the lights on the tree. Haha, <laughs> cool idea, Pomni. Yeah, we totally want to help you decorate the tree. Okay, guys, while we're decorating the tree, can we just talk about how weird this is? Like, we're prisoners, that much is obvious. She's holding us here for reasons unknown. But why is she having us do Christmas decorations? That's like fun. Wouldn't you want to do that with friends and family and not the people you're imprisoning? I'm like, what is going on with this bizarro Pomni? She seems quite lonely, lonely and confused. Pomni says, yay, you guys did a great job with the tree. I can't turn down a compliment. Thank you. Oh, thank you for noticing. Mentuan says, now the Christmas spirit is really with us. What is the Christmas spirit in the room right now? Pomni says, hmm, there's a lot of trash around the digital circus. I mean, it is a digital circus. Can't you just drag those to trash? Pomni says, but it has to be clean. So go collect as much trash as you can find. Okay, well, here we go. This is starting to feel more like the true purpose. You just want someone to clean up your trash. I just arrived here yesterday. None of this stinky garbage is my trash. Pomni says, great job, guys, collecting all the trash. You deserve rewards. What kind of reward? Is the reward going to be an exit door or no? Nope. Pomni says, now, guys, I'm going to go and grab some candy for us to share. All right, digital candy feast. Pomni says, wait here and don't go wandering around. Be cool, everybody, but I think this might be our chance to wander around. Let's just wait till Pomni gets through that door and okay, I think the coast is clear. Nate Dog says, hmm, Pomni's left. What should we do? A wander. She specifically told us not to wander. I reckon we should do a big old wander. Oh, the basement. <gasps> Nate Dog says, I wonder what's behind this door labeled basement. It could be anything, even a basement. Yeah, were I to do an illegal wander, that would be the first place I'd go. Diljo says, let's go and take a look. Now, Daydog, would you like to make a bet? I would like to bet that it is a basement down here. What do you think? Oh, uh, it's too late. Okay, looking looking like a basement. Diljo says, uh, guys, where are we? It's kind of given basement. Boss Pipwat says, oh no, the water is leaking through. We need to get out of here quick. Yeah, that does seem like a pretty good idea, because if that water starts coming in quickly, then we could be looking at a drowning situation. Yep, that's, uh, that's a rising water level right there. We're going to have to move a bit faster. Um, and I know how everybody feels about crossing lava, so... Well, if they were getting tired from that previous lava crossing, I do not have high hopes for this one. Whoa, I say. That was close. Superboy says, now we need to get past this lava and climb to the top. The thing is, it's not just the lava we need to get past, it's also the small issue of the lasers. I'm gonna follow closely behind the lasers to try to give me maximum laser-free time. I suggest everybody else does the same. I guess climb up here if we're gonna get to the top and uh-oh, there's something bad happening in this room. I can already feel it. What are we thinking? Pomni? Clyder? Worse? All right, says Nate Dog. Let's go through the vent. Nate Dog, that is legit the smartest thing that anybody has said all day. Let's go through the vent. Where's the vent? This doesn't look like a vent. This looks like a circus tent. I'm like, it looks like we're in some kind of circus. I mean, yeah, it sure does. Oh no, there's nobody else left. It's just me. Uh, guys? Wait, who's that over there? <laughs> I'm just talking to myself. Oh no, <laughs> it's the evil clown. What happened to the spider legs? Is that the same clown that was there before, but minus the spider? I told you guys, I'd be back. What happened to your spider legs? Now, you will pay, says the clown. Oh, 
Thank goodness my buds are back, and they brought their hot chocolate. Good. I'm glad I don't have to face this evil clown alone. Even without the spider legs, he still looks quite evil. I would like to know what happened there, though. But before I do anything else, I'm going to arrange a date between this evil clown and my crowbar. Why does it say attack the boss when he is down? Oh, because he collapses on the floor um, so that we can give him a beating, apparently. This feels weird. The vibe is a bit off, but unfortunately, I am being held prisoner here. I did not choose this situation. Uh oh, the clown's back. More hit, and that should do it. And okay, now the evil clown is sad. We've, we've, made, we've made him sad. Ugh, says the evil clown. You guys are too strong for me. Aw, oh, he looks so much less evil when he's just got a sad face. Evil clown says, please... Just let me go and I'll never harm anyone again. I don't know, sounds like lies to me. Nate Dog says, what do we do? Well, seems like we've got a decision to make here. We could free the clown or call the cops. Wait, we had the option to call the cops the entire time? We're not actually trapped here then. We've got a phone. Sorry, Mr. Clown. I say, we aren't letting you go today. We're calling the authorities, apparently. The police are already on their way. What? <laughs> what is happening? Nate Dog says, Well, we did it. We saved the day. Did we? Did we save the day? What happened to Pomni? Yep. I say, That was incredible. Well done, everyone. Okay. Abrupt ending.